Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are back on Melvor Idol. Yes, this is actually being recording on, on Sunday evening as um, this first section is. I've been doing quite a lot of work in terms of grinding with fishing, attacking, etc. And I want to get through everything of that today and continue on to get the video out later on in the week. So let's start this off here. Uh, in the last 8 hours we've got 5,000 raw magic fish and all of this crazy loot here. Now fishing level 96. We are storming through these levels. We're going to be level 99 in no time. But if we actually have a look into our bank here, we have a lot of stuff to go through. Raw skeleton fish I grinded for a little bit so that we can bury these and get a lot of prayer points. Because I actually know what prayer points are for now if we actually have a look. Actually, I'll show you that in a second. Right here, we've got our message in the bottle. Sell that. I don't think we can read the item anymore. Yeah, we can sell that. We can also claim all of these fishing points. We can also have a look at these pirates lost ring. Now, what is this? I think I've already got this equipped. It gives more fishing XP. Yeah, we can sell those to them. Let's quickly... Oh, do we want to open or sell these? Let's just open all of them. It's not like we're going to get anything good, really. Yeah, manta ray fish. Well, lots of stuff. Oh, an amulet of fishing. Decreased fishing interval. Oh, that's actually really good. Let's equip that. That'll be very helpful. But we can sell all this other stuff like the daggers and the bars and that because we don't really need them as of right now. So sell them. Got a few whales as well. Obviously, they... um. They sell for quite a bit, but right, in their raw state, they don't sell for as much as the magic fish. So we are just going to continue grinding them. Got a few sharks, got, got a few few lovely things here. Lobsters, uh, shrimp. Obviously, we got our trout and our manta ray as well. Pretty good. But here we get into the items that I got while grinding um, in the attacking area. I went to do some slayer tasks. As you can see, I've kind of stopped for a second now. But... During the Slayer tasks, I've actually f realized how far I can go into the attacking area. And it's pretty much right to the bottom now. As you can see, I've grinded my attack and defense up fairly high using... And I, and I have adamant armor. So we have got an emerald ring here. Uh, passive um, plus 7% um, combat XP. Doesn't work with Slayer or Alt Magic. Uh, damage, damage reduction in this one. Amulet of Strength, and I don't know what this actually does. There's no description, but if we have a look at the stats, oh, it just gives a bonus to our strength here. Don't need that right now, but I won't sell it, I'll keep it. But I believe we can sell these guys, they don't really seem too beneficial for me at this point. We can also sell these seeds here, bury these bones, um, keep the amulet, but here... We've got um, a silver topaz necklace. Provides melee attack bonus. Now, what's, what's this going to be like? Stab bonus slash bonus defend bonus. We'll keep that. We might be able to use that while we are grinding um, that. And then a melee strength bonus as well. Exact same thing. Just worse as the strength amulet. So we can sell these then. Got leather here. And I've grinded leather for a reason. You'll see in a second. But here... We have 20,000 raw magical fish. Now, this is a lot of raw fish. A lot of it. And I don't think I need a lot, seeing as I have 900 here. And I could grind overnight and get as many as I want. So, this is worth 16 million coins. That's over half my bank value. Bear in mind, I also have this, which is worth 1 mil. This, which is worth 1 mil. And all this other stuff combined equals less than half of what this is worth. <laughs> this begins actually, actually no, 19 million actually. That's insane. We can sell that, let's go. Boom, we are in the positive money. Less, we can't get tier three on that, but we can get some other things around here soon. But I won't do this right now as I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't want to mess it up. Back in the bank, we've obviously got all of our gemstones we can sell for a couple hundred grand each. Get an extra million or two out of that. And yeah, that's it for what we've grinded, really. But let's show you what I've actually want to do with this leather. Now, if we go down to um, crafting, you'll see that we can make leather gloves. 
which is going to get our um, crafting up and allow us to make your necklaces in future and rings as well and dragon hide. Now I want to get a little bit of this on just so that we can start getting some XP into this area down here and start increasing our lower ones. So we'll probably stick that on now for a second while we're waiting and then I'm going to go up here and show you what I've increased in terms of my combat. So obviously we've gone up by another 5 or so levels here increasing my attack and defense. We now have full adamant armor as well as adamant gloves. We've got our lost pirate's ring and our amulet of fishing here. Done a lot of Slayer, but let's show you how far we can actually go in here, shall we? We actually can go to the Castle of Kings and fight the Mithril Knight. Now, that rhymed, I know, very cool. But if we have a look in here, with the Auto Eat, we can basically kill anything. We've got so much fish, and it doesn't do enough damage to kill us, so 52 is the max hit. So if we get down to 52, it will eat automatically for us anyway, and it's fine. We do 147 damage of our own smashing for it and then what does it drop let's see shall we wait for this to quickly finish one or two more hits will do the job you've only got a 41 percent hit chance so i will grind some more attack here soon just got some bones from that but i'm pretty sure before we have got like some armor as well but which one was it i believe it was the it might have been something in the um slayer area no it was in the graveyard. Was it? Was it the graveyard? The go it might have been the ghosts. The ghosts gave us... What did the ghosts... I can't remember what they dropped now, actually. We'll quickly... Um... Actually, no. We'll leave, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. But in one of these combat areas, it might be the giants down here. They drop like those amulets and that, which is pretty nice. And it gives you a lot of stuff. But that's really it for me showing you what I've grinded recently. Nothing much really in, in terms of mining and smithing, but let's quickly leave our fishing area on. We've actually upgraded down here quite a, quite a bit. We can continue making some stuff down here. I'll leave this on for a second. Wait for it all to finish up, then we'll go back into fishing overnight. Uh, fish up until we get to fishing 99, and then once we've hit fishing 99, we should have enough money to do a lot of things really. And then I can go back to mining for a little bit just to max it out and then also go back into smithing a little bit with my adamant bars that I've got saved up quite a lot of them. So yeah, that's pretty good there. Uh, we're going to go into like necklaces and rings soon. Let's have a look. R this is what I want to look at. Dragon hide. Now I don't know what this is. I have to look into it more, but it seems really interesting. These necklaces obviously we want to get to quite high level before we're going to be able to make any of this worth it as we do have some fairly good necklaces um, right now to use but yeah let's see how that goes so i shall see you guys um later on in the week maybe tomorrow morning maybe um tuesday but definitely before this goes out of course so i'll see you guys then uh thank you all for this section i shall see you in a minute instantaneous for you a few days for me but right i am back it is two days now it's two days ahead of when i last recorded so we've actually come across something right here 1.6 million fishing XP in the last 12 hours, as well as a lot of fish, of course. But if we actually close out of this, I am now fishing 100, well, 99, I think, technically. I am now officially maxed out in fishing. I have everything unlocked, anything I could want here, as well as the new checkpoint, which allows me to have a 25% chance to receive an extra special item in the fishing section. Very cool. We can stop fishing now. That's it. Done fishing. For the time being. Let's quickly... Oh, what's this? The Ancient Ring of Skills grants plus 8 skill XP from non-combat skills. Oh. Oh. That could be quite helpful. Seeing as when... I'm going to actually equip it right now. We're not really using... We're not really using anything like that. Like fishing for a while. So we can quickly sell all this stuff. Treasure chest. Let's open them all. What are we going to get? Nothing good probably. Whales. Shrimps. Shark. Manta ray. The whole shebang. We can sell the steel bars. Don't need them. We can sell these lobsters for quick cash. The daggers. The manta ray. This fishing amulet. But we don't because we don't need that anymore. 
The rest of the trouts that's here are shrimp. Our sharks, our whales, and of course all of our minerals that we have gathered. But not only that, right now we are kind of maxed out, um, well not maxed out, but we are in the high for the amount of food that we have equipped. So we don't really need any more fish for the time being. Remember, I can come back to this in future. So let's quickly just sell the rest of this, bury everything we don't need here, buried, gone, boom. Get a hefty 23 million coins out of selling this fish. And we can go into the shop here and purchase the uh, tier 3 eating. And now we are maxed out completely in that. 99 fishing going crazy. We can actually mine up some adamantite, no sorry, some runite now. For a special reason. And that is because in our attacking area, we can upgrade to runite fairly soon when I start upgrading this. Not only that, but I need to max out my mining, well, I don't need to, but it'll be a nice achievement. So we can mine some runite and start smithing it into the runite um, bars that we need, which is one runite bar to eight coal. Now, the amount of runite that we actually need is not a lot, but we do need to upgrade, um, well, I say upgrade, but we need to get a higher smithing level if we want the stuff. We can only make the helmet right now. So I am going to need to mine up quite a bit, um, but I won't be just making that. In fact, I've probably got enough runite, I just need a bit more coal. How much coal do we actually have here? Yeah, not a lot. We need a hefty amount of coal, and then we can go into the smithing section tomorrow morning. I am recording this on Tuesday night, by the way. So we can go into this tomorrow morning and start creating some adamantite bars we're going to get a ton and i mean a ton of coal ore we can get these adamantite bars max out our smithing well get it at fairly high level switch over to the runite bang we get the runite gear we are in it we have sixty-five thousand prayer points which means we can use anything for basically forever right now unless we get down to like here in future but I think that's it for now actually and that is a perfect time to end the video. I thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. But for now, that is all. Goodbye. Farewell. Peace.